so I'm making this video because I know some of you guys got school, some of you guys still have a 9 to 5, and sometimes we just don't have time to actually stay, stay by our computers or check our phones to actually manage our trades. Well, with this method, it's possible to actually keep making money. So I'm going to show you how, guys how to set up your take profit and your stop loss. So we'll just say you've already done your analysis. Personally, your good perfect entry points would have been around here, but at this point, yeah, I'm just going to say screw it. We'll just call it like a swing trade. So you will probably use this to actually figure out your key points for your take profit try to pinpoint your numbers pretty much if you're trying to go short term you will go here if you're going long term you would just go with the longer charts um with this pair specifically I have technically already done my analysis you could have like figured it out here and basically just punched in the numbers and set up your take profit or your stop loss well, your stop loss, it would be technically be under it because I'm about to buy right now. Because I know that's ultimately what GPP, JPY is going to do. Um, I would probably bring it a little bit lower. That you can also, you don't have to punch it in, you can drag it if you're on the computer. And as for take profit all you got to do is just pull it up I already know where it's all going so about right here if you wanted to get more exact coordinates I would just go to smaller time frames and then just drag it a bit more the 500 mark is ultimately where I want to go anyways well, this is demo. This isn't my real account, so it really doesn't even matter. It's not really my money, but I'm just doing this for the presentation to actually show you what you're doing. But ultimately, that's how you set up your take profit or your stop loss. Ultimately, I wouldn't fully rely on the stop loss, though. I mean, if you know where your trade is going, um try to actually go without it because the market makers see that and so a lot of the times they'll actually try to wick your stop loss and take the profits from that unless it's like something like NFP and you're using one of my strategies to actually um, take advantage of that we have a pretty good strategy for NFP that'll actually make you a lot of money without with little risk but at, in this case for swing trades I know it's going to go down a little bit but ultimately it's going to go up and hit that mark so the stop loss really is kind of irrelevant anyways unless you have like a real small account and you're trying to save your money then I understand but at the same time that's where risk management comes into play you don't want if you're doing a swing trade you don't want to use like a high lot size and then risk it going swinging downward bringing you negative and then blowing your account before it has a chance to go up but ultimately I'll save that for another video I'll explain risk management but I'm also going to make a video on how to use a set up a buy stop and a sell stop and a buy limit and a sell limit as well so hope you enjoy the video go ahead and like this video comment if you have questions if you have any if you want to add me on Facebook just click the link in the description anyways have a good one